Oh boy, I need to be quick on this one for sure. That would be a lot better cold. Anyway. I'm a little out of the breath, I just got home. I'll explain. But anyway, good evening everyone. This is Terra Quator. Welcome to Saturday, September 21st, 2024, day 265. Well, I've done all I can do. I'm going to do a double check because I know Tessa was paranoid about it yesterday too. But I'm pretty sure we're right. Pretty sure where you're. We are. Yes, ma'am. Pretty sure we are right. It is indeed a. 265. We're right to not worry about it. But notorious overthinker because I so easily distracted and everything and all that jazz. And I apologize for how I look right now. I just got home from the store and it was 100 degrees out today. Fahrenheit, of course, because if it was 100 Celsius, I'd be dead. I still wouldn't call it pleasant. Not in the slightest. But I am. Um, the other reason of my tardiness is not just, you know, being out at the store or walking to the store. I had to do that after Buttercup and Lily got home because Buttercup went to a, or one of her classmates or, you know, her friend's birthday party. Went, went to the same place they went, that Buttercup went last week for her birthday. Same place. So I was here babysitting a very hyperactive sweet pea. Lily is upset about it, though, because um, whenever I'm out of the house or Lily is here with Sweet Pea, Sweet Pea just gives her a lot of grief, just gives her a lot of trouble. So while Lily and Buttercup were out, Sweet Pea didn't give me any trouble whatsoever. She was just fine. Nice and relaxed. The only time she started to fuss is because she was, I knew, I realized she was... We didn't hungry so i just made her a pb and j cut the crust off and cut it in half and apparently she really likes it that way cut it in half but if you cut the crust off you don't do it diagonally because then it just looks weird anyway um i don't know they were down at the port and we have a small issue like i'm i'm kind of trying to rush with this and hopefully everyone's watching sweet pea right now because um we have a new problem you know how just a little over two weeks ago, I installed one of those bathroom lockable doorknobs on our bedroom door to keep Sweet Pea out? She figured out how to unlock it from the outside. She found the right size flathead screwdriver. I don't know where she found it, but she found it. Put it in there and unlocked the door last night. He's three. My three-year-old figured out our door. So now it's going to be even more difficult to keep her out. I'll have to keep putting up anything that can fit in there and unlock it. It'll all have to be kept up out of her reach. But it still means she's going to find something and unlock our door. Especially late at night when she's in that hyperactive, do everything possible because she's getting tired. She got that from me. So it looks like when we when uh, we get paid again, I'm gonna have to swap it out for a um, an actual key lock. Thing is, if it took her just over two weeks to figure out how to unlock that on her own, I'm concerned that if I get a key lock for that door, she's just gonna find paper clips and teach herself how to pick the lock. And there she is at the door right now. Hopefully she hasn't found a flathead. But yeah, I'm, I'm quite certain that within like a couple months, she's going to, she'll teach herself how to pick locks just to get in here. She's overwhelmingly resourceful and determined. To a scary degree, as <laughs> to a very scary degree. She's three years old and already figured it out. In two weeks of me having an ins having installed that doorknob, so it doesn't bode well for our locks. 
She's figuring all of them out. She figured out our deadbolts, minus the actual, you know, key portion. She figured out the deadbolts. She figured out the other safety locks. So, uh, gotta keep a very close eye on her. Excuse me. I remember, I, w I was just outside. Speaking of, you know what? I was outside and they had and the cat's been around. Luckily, the cat didn't stay in very long. I'm very happy about that because, again, it is not our cat. But my allergies are indeed acting up right now. So, I'm going to take some Zizol. I like this stuff because it's like Benadryl, Claritin, and Zyrtec decided to combine forces like Captain Planet. Very effective. But in the gaming world, Tessa and I owe everyone an apology because we had it in our head that Starfield's Shattered Space DLC came, was coming out on the 20th. We were wrong. I don't know how we got it mixed up, but no, it comes out on the 30th, the last day of the month. I don't know how we got that mixed up, but we did. But it does give us more time to prepare for it so we can screw around some more because we found some uh we found some really fun mods to, to mess around with nothing inappropriate of course I'm, I'm too old for that but i'm gonna mess around a little more and i realized for me i don't have the patience for the romance um you know romancing your followers i do not have the patience for that me and my head is like just get on with it and please uh captain we should report back i i i really don't like video game characters using gushy language with me it, it feels weird lily heard it because i i did that so i could you still have to see exactly how they work and i thought you know maybe i'll do that for um andreja since we're going to be doing shattered space which is in Varun space Lily overheard that. It's like, why can't they have something like that for Genshin and Star Rail? I'm like, because that's just going to cause more problems for the gaming, for for the Genshin or Hoyoverse community. If they add a romancing portion where certain characters you can romance, I'm sorry, but y'all Hoyoverse fans are unhinged as it is. They add that in there, y'all are gonna get violent. Like, y'all, even the Westerners are going to get violent over their ships. And they're going to get extremely territorial about their characters. So, it's best they don't have it. But I, I really don't like the romance section, even in Starfield. And even when I play things like Skyrim, I, I don't like the marriage systems. I don't care for them. I... I I, in all honesty, people are like, "Oh, if you if you play by yourself without a follower, you're missing out on everything." I prefer playing without a follower. Your concerns about the they weigh me down, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna keep it at that because I still need to work on dinner. Yes, I'm very behind on that. The time of recording 7:08 p.m. And I still have another segment to record to get it all, you know, slap together. <laughs> get it all put together so we can put that out to say, hey, we're we're still being consistent. But I'll get that done. And uh, originally I was going to do some uh, fried chicken tonight. We're going to have to do it tomorrow, so we're just going to have some ziti tonight. Anyway, I want everyone to enjoy the rest of their Saturday, as soon as we've got the September 21st. Think about it. We only have nine days left in this month, so enjoy it while it lasts. Those who are in the Southwest United States, it does look... It, if our weather is as my forecast has shown for, the, for Southwest, especially Southwest Oklahoma... It looks like today may have been the last day in the hundreds, let alone the last day in the 90s. So cross your fingers and hope that we're done with 90 degree plus temperatures. Let's get it into the 80s and below. 
really hoping for that because my electrical bill will be very happy for that. My last one was over $300. We're willing to fast Sucked. Citizenship upon collection anyway, that's enough. Of, that's a, that's enough of that. We don't need to continue on for that. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. This is Terra Quator, and we will see you all tomorrow on Sunday. Oh, and by the way, well, tomorrow is Sunday, so those who are Star Rail fans worship the Sundays or something. I don't know. Lilia logic. But tomorrow was also the first official day of autumn, or the first day of fall. So autumn falls on a Sunday. Anyway, you have our thanks. Be ready for your autumn attire. And non coffee drinkers, beware of the um, the territorial autumn vest wearing pumpkin spice drinkers. Because that starts tomorrow. This is the last See you we'll see you all tomorrow on Sunday. So long, everyone.